Yeah, it's been, it's the old high school, um, and it's a great way to get people to come to Beacon, it's a great way to get people to come see the work. It's really nice to be able to like have a real interaction with the other artists. The bummer is, is that we can't get around to see as much of the work as we'd like to, so that's kind of a drag, but the rest is really good. And it's a good, um, it's a good deadline to work towards, it's like good incentive to know that there's this thing every year and that you want to continually be producing a body of work. I love, I love, I love the interaction with, with people showing it. Because a lot of times, I mean, obviously when you're making it, you're just by yourself in the studio and you don't, you know, you have your own interaction with it. But it's nice to see how they're holding up when other people are looking at them and what they're getting from it. And, um, I you know, I've made a lot of friends, I've gotten in some shows, it's uh, made some sales, or tentative sales maybe, so that's wonderful. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Well, the main thing, like I said, is the deadline first. And then second, uh, you know, you never know who you'll run into. It's nice to see people I know, or new people, that turn them on to the work. Um, yeah, that, that's really it and where that goes, which can be many places. Right. Just have fun. I also mixed it in my birthday's tomorrow. So it's a birthday weekend, you know, or, you know, so right. I'm, I'm working, you know, as far as uh, throwing that into this celebration of my new studio, Excellent. my birthday, you know, I like multiple ideas going. It's yours? It's all mine. This is also you in here? Yes. Yeah, yeah. My hair. Everything here is my hair. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least all the hair things. Uh -huh. Why hair? Um, hair like it's kind of a physical like material, visceral like compared to your thread. Mm -hmm. At the same time, like you know, hair is the last thing to decay like, after people die. So some culture think the hair has some spiritual like powers. Hmm. Have you ever have you ever dyed your hair? Never. I don't dye my hair. But have you ever, I mean, color is a spiritual element too, you yeah, know? I mean, I prefer to use some other people's hair, oh. already like blonde or oh, okay. already white, if okay. I need to. Right, right, right. But like, well, so far I think black hair line is kind of, represents some kind of drawing line too. Uh, so it okay. kind of, for me, like, precious. Okay. Very, yeah. Okay. Be, like, fundamental, like, yeah. I suppose yeah. also, if you start using kind of different color hair then it sort of can almost become more decorative mm -hmm. you know yeah and be. yeah and yeah I like that idea that the that black hair is a lot like a drawing line yeah yeah we've been doing open studios for about two yeah. years now and uh, I think it's the it's been the best time to um, interact with with the public and uh, really um, test out my own ideas with with people that come in um, and uh, it also lets me sometimes inspire uh, some visitors who, who come in and sometimes uh, they really inspire me with um, their imagination about where uh, works in progress can go. interesting because people, people's reaction, like I'm an artist that wants to know what people think, mm -hmm. not that it's going to change my intention, yeah. but I'm, I always have the viewer in mind, mm -hmm. so I've noticed a big difference in people's reaction from when they were looking at a face to when they're looking at this, like a lot of people just 
don't know what they're looking at. I don't know how to handle abstract art. And I think people think they're, they're supposed to be getting something literal right. out of abstract art, and that makes them nervous because they yes. don't know what to say. And they're like, what is it? And I'm like, it's not anything. It's not anything. It's a feeling. It's an experience. Yeah. You know? It's like... <laughs> yeah, they, I, it does. It makes people uncomfortable. Because it is hard to find the vocabulary to talk about something that doesn't have an actual thing to reference. Mm -hmm.